Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this pretty short video I'm going to check the HRC Forward FD50A 32-bit skinny ECs. The reason this video is going to be a little bit short is because unfortunately I won't be able to feature it today in a build video and test it out on a quadcopter. So in this video I'm just going to overview this ESC and in order to make it up I'm going to do a giveaway so one of you lucky subscribers is going to win 4 ESCs that are going to be sent directly from HRC. In order to participate, all you have to do is just to leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so in case you're the winner, you're not going to miss out. So this is the AGLRC FD50A ESC. Along with the ESC, you're also getting this transparent heat shrink that will enable you to isolate the ESC from the quadcopter arm. The FD50A is flashed with the latest BLL32 firmware. It can handle hyper batteries between 2 to 6 cells and can operate at a constant current of 50 amperes with a peak current of 60 amperes. In order to make this ESC so skinny, it is built from three PCB layers. So you can see that the pads for the motors are built on top of each other. Even though the pads are pretty close to each other, this design will enable you to connect the motor without shorting these pads out. The highlight of this ESC is of course that it is extremely narrow. Its width is less than 1 cm. Its thickness is about 6.2 mm. And it is pretty long, so its total length is about 42.8 mm. The weight of the ESC is 6.8 grams without the signal wires and 7.6 grams including them. And the main advantage of having this design is that it will enable you to mount this ESC on very thin arms, so for example on this frame you wouldn't be able to mount regular ESCs so you will probably use 4-in-1 ESCs so if you're going to opt in for this type of ESC it will enable you to safely mount it on the arms of the quadcopter and then you're going to have more space on the center so it will enable you for example to use a runcam split camera in addition, the advantage of having single ESCs opposed to having a 4-in-1 board is that if one of the ESCs got burned, if you're using a 4-in-1 ESC, you will probably need to replace the entire board, whereas if a single ESC get burned, you can simply replace it. Finally, in terms of pricing, this ESC goes for $16, which is a pretty good price for a 50 ampere BLA tier 2 ESC, and I'm looking forward to see how it's going to perform, and I really hope that it's going to happen soon. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is a pretty short video and just an overview of the ESC. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. I would like to thank AJRC for sponsoring this giveaway. And again, all you have to do in order to participate is just to leave a comment down below. And once I'm going to use this ESC, I'm going to announce the winner. See you on my next videos and goodbye.